1 million subscribers. That is crazy. So I just wanted to talk about my life since I was a teenager and how I got into music and all this stuff. And if it's inspirational for anyone out there, that's great. So I think I was about 14 years old and uh, I was really into movies and I was collecting like uh, movie covers and uh, yeah, just uh, really focused on that. And then my brother for my birthday came with the first uh, Rage Against the Machine album. It was just released and I listened to it and uh, my whole life just changed. Just the music and the attitude. I just really got into music and thought this is what I'm going to do. So we started a band like you do called uh, Dispainted. Shit I go ever think and say When I turn into the pain Nothing ever comes out clean What do I mean? We were four local friends and we played kind of alternative music, a mix between Rage and uh, Pantera and uh, Meshuka. And uh, we did that for several years and we got a lot of great feedback. And then it just ended because people started in the military and started studying school stuff. So it just faded out. But I was always the guy who didn't want to do anything else uh, at the local rock club where we rehearsed. I was the guy who was living there, just playing all the instruments and uh, yeah, just <laughs> having a great time and didn't want to do anything. Music was my passion. I've always had a hard time doing the nine to five jobs. I did go several years without working the straight job and I smoked too much pot and just was so focused on the music thing. I always recorded, had an old old track uh, tape recorder, four track uh, that I used to record on in my friend's garage. Then I was approached by another group of friends to sing in a band called uh, Lowdown. And we went on to record two albums and we had a small record label here in Norway and we released the album I wouldn't say worldwide, but it was out there to get and we didn't make any money as, as you don't do. But uh, we played a lot of gigs for a case of beer around uh, Norway. And uh, yeah, that was just a party and uh, cool music. Also had a fun uh, home project kind of uh, band with uh, another friend called Eirik, which is uh, deceased now. And uh, we just made crazy music. We just played on trash cans and everything we could get a hold of, we, we played it. And uh, it was a great learning experience, not to be stuck in like the guitar, bass, drums, things, just doing whatever and yeah I learned very much from from that stuff. I also joined a band called Serosonic for a few years, a great uh, groove metal band. <laughs> Started by uh, Död from uh, the Norwegian death metal band called Blood Red Throne and Serosonic are still going and also Blood Red Throne, so that's two bands you need to check out. Then in 2011 I started the studio here and started having bands in here and mostly doing acoustic covers on YouTube to just promote uh, the studio and my acoustic live playing. <laughs> Get up around seven, 
get out of bed around nine. I've told this story many times, but for you guys who haven't heard it, I'll, I'll say it again. And then for fun, one day I just did the poker face metal cover. And that got a million views within a year. And then I sat down and, all right, I'm gonna do this 100% for real. And in the fall of 2014, I started putting out the metal covers every Friday. And I've done that since. And I'm here. I am an all-in guy for the better or the worst. When I do something, I am 150% uh, focused on doing it really good. If there's stuff that I don't feel interested in, I'm really bad at that. I don't get it done. But on music and video, I'm so in it that, yeah, that's why it works. So now I'm here and my channel is averaging around 13 million views a month. And that's a number that's really crazy. So I just want to say to you guys that I'm, I'm really sorry that I can't answer all the mails or the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram stuff, people write incredible stuff to me, but I, I just can't respond because it's so, so many messages that uh, that's all I would be doing and uh, there would be no music if I responded to everyone. So I'm sorry guys. So what's next, you may wonder. I wonder also. I'm approaching 10 albums with uh, 10 albums with metal covers now and uh, I just really enjoy doing them. I, I get my creativity out because I have a lot of original stuff in the songs as some of you guys may notice that there's complete sections within the songs that's all me and uh, also at the end of the songs I get all out all my inner craziness so I'm content I'll, I'll just have to see how long I can do it every Friday maybe I'll cut down maybe do every two weeks I won't stop I will keep doing it because I, I love it but uh, I'm a creative guy and uh, I want to do all kinds of stuff as you guys who've been following me I, I do all sorts of videos like vlogs and gear and everything I'm just I'm just trying to push myself in in different directions but also staying true to to the core if you may so I don't know nothing uh, crazy it's going to happen now in the near future but I'll sure to let you know when uh, when I'm I'm gonna mix it up a little but for now let's keep going thank you so much everyone out there I, I can't comprehend the number of followers or viewers or anything at all it's just so crazy and all the feedback is just really great so from the bottom of my heart thank you and stay tuned because I'm gonna do a very special giveaway contest thingy very soon it's gonna be some killer stuff so stay tuned for that and I'll see you later